Good morning everyone. How are you today? Welcome back to our lesson. So today we study about chapter 6, unit 17, lesson 17A. Stay on the path. Stay on the path. Okay. Now before we go to our lesson, let's review or let's read the vocabulary with teachers. Everyone vocabulary you can see on page 214 in your lesson book at the back of the book. So on page 214 you can see all vocabulary in unit 17. So now we start reading vocabulary. Okay, start. Vocabulary. Afraid. Afraid. Awal. Awal. Bali. Bali. Buket. Buket. Cap. Cap. Curtain. Curtain. Hood. Hood. Gather. Gather. Hunter. Hunter. Ledge. Ledge. Manners. Manners. Hat. Hat. Holler. Holler. Held. Held. Precious. Precious. Press. Press. Promise. Promise. Slice. Slice. Snores. Snores. Velvet. Velvet. Weak. Weak. Wicked. Wicked. Okay. Everyone read the teacher again. A flag. A wall. Bali. Bouquet. Cap. Curtain. Hood. Gather. Hunter. Ledge. Manners. Hat. Hollers. Belt. Precious. Press. Promise. Slice. Snores. Velvet. Weak. Wicked. Okay. After you finish the new vocabulary, we go to number two. Listen. So this unit, we are focused on listening. Gaston. So listen at, to the story. When you finish, when you listen to the story, you are going to answer the one question. Why does little red riding hood's mother want her to stay on the patch? Why does little red riding hood's mother want her to stay on the patch? Head away, come out the ball red riding hood. Little red riding hood, I'll need down the low. Okay, head away. So, all together listen and answer the question. Tape script 6.17.1 Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl. Everyone who saw her liked her, but most of all her grandmother, who did not know what to give the child next. Once she made her a hood of red velvet. The little girl loved the hood so much that she had worn nothing else since receiving it. Since that time, people had called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, having heard that her grandmother had taken ill, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called to her. Come, Little Red Riding Hood, 
Here is a piece of cake and a small pot of butter. Take them to your grandmother. She is sick and weak, and they will do her well. Mind your manners and give her my greetings. Behave yourself on the way, and do not leave the path, or you might fall down and break the pot, and then there will be nothing for your sick grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood promised she would obey what her mother had told her and set off on her journey. But Granny lived out in a forest, half an hour's walk from the village. While Little Red Riding Hood was walking in the forest, she met a wolf. But she did not know what a wicked animal he was and was not afraid of him. Good day to you, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Thank you, wolf, she said. Where are you going so early, Little Red Riding Hood? He asked her. To my grandmother's house, she replied. He asked her what she was carrying in her basket. To this, she replied, Grandmother is sick and weak, and I am taking her some cake and butter. We baked yesterday, and they should give her strength. Then the wolf asked, Little Red Riding Hood, just where does your grandmother live? Order hour from here in the forest. Under the three large trees, there's a row of bushes there. You must know the place, said Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf thought to himself, This nice young girl is a delicious mouthful. She will taste better than the old woman. But I must trick her cleverly so that I can catch both. He walked a while by Little Red Riding Hood's side. Then he said, Little Red Riding Hood, hep. Blossoming in the forest? Why don't you go and take a look? and I don't believe you can hear how beautifully the birds are singing. You are walking along as though you were on your way to school in the village. It is very beautiful in the forest. Little Red Riding Hood opened her eyes and could see the sunlight was coming through the trees and how the ground was covered with beautiful flowers. She thought, if I take a bouquet to grandmother, she will be very pleased. Anyway, it is... I'm and she ran off into the forest looking for flowers. When she had picked one, she thought that she could see a more beautiful flower a little way off. Then she would run for that one. All the while she was going further and further into the forest. But the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked on the door. Who's there? End of tape script 6.17.1 Okay, so after you finish listening, now answer the question. Why does Little Red Riding Hood's mother wants her to stay on the patch? Head away. So now I play one more time for you to listen and then you are going to answer the question. Script 6.16.6 .6. You stupid girl, you can't do anything right, said the witch. The witch went to check the oven and Gretel was standing behind her. When she had opened the oven door, Gretel pushed her in. Tape script 6.17.1 Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl. Everyone who saw her liked her, but most of all, her grandmother, who did not know what to give the child next. Once she made her a hood of red velvet. The little girl loved the hood so much that she had worn nothing else since receiving it. Since that time, people had called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, having heard that her grandmother had taken ill, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called to her. Come, Little Red Riding Hood, here is a piece of cake and a small pot of butter. Take them to your grandmother. She is sick and weak, and they will do her well. Mind your manners and give her my greetings. Behave yourself on the way, and do not leave the path, or you might fall down and break the pot, and then there will be nothing for your sick grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood promised she would obey what her mother had told her and set off on her journey. But Granny lived out in a forest, half an hour's walk from the village. While Little Red Riding Hood was walking in the forest, she met a wolf. But she did not know what a wicked animal he was, and was not afraid of him. 
Good day to you, little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Thank you, wolf, she said. Where are you going so early, little Red Riding Hood, she asked her. To my grandmother's house, she replied. She asked her what she was carrying in her basket. To this, she replied, Grandmother is sick and weak, and I am taking her some cake and butter. We baked yesterday, and they should give her strength. Then the wolf asked, Little Red Riding Hood, just where does your grandmother live? Her house is a good quarter hour from here in the forest. Under the three large trees, there's a row of bushes there. You must know the place, said Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf thought to himself, This nice young girl is a delicious mouthful. She will taste better than the old woman. But I must trick her cleverly so that I can catch both. He walked a while by Little Red Riding Hood's side. Then he said, Little Red Riding Hood, haven't you seen the beautiful flowers that are blossoming in the forest? Why don't you go and take a look? And I don't believe you can hear how beautifully the birds are singing. You are walking along as though you were on your way to school in the village. It is very beautiful in the forest. Little Red Riding Hood opened her eyes and could see the sunlight was coming through the trees and how the ground was covered with beautiful flowers. She thought, if I take a bouquet to Grandmother, she will be very pleased. Anyway, it is still early, and I'll be home on time. And she ran off into the forest looking for flowers. When she had picked one, she thought that she could see a more beautiful flower a little way off. Then she would run for that one. All the while she was going further and further into the forest. But the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked on the door. Who's there? End of tape script 6.17.1 Okay, now can you answer the question? Why does little red riding hood's mother want her to stay on the patch? Okay, because she might fall down and break a pot. Yeah. She might fall down and break the pot. Okay. So everyone go to number three. Which word do you hear? Which word do you hear? Tapi ekna da yeng man lu listening. Okay. Everyone, the up here person the yeng chong chaman ek nong listening. Yeng tu YouTube, patok ma yeng wai English, grad nine. ตอนมาเยอะในเคยมียูทูบเอ่อชื่อสําเลยเมเรียนพิจารณาได้ยังอายุบ้านในក្នុងนั้นยังอายติงสตาร์ทลองเตียดประชันบาลิสติงวั
and how the ground was covered with beautiful flowers. End of tape script 6.17.2. Okay, now check the answer again. Tape script 6.17.2. A. The little girl loved the hood so much that she had worn nothing else since receiving it. B. One day, having heard that her grandmother had taken ill, little Red Riding Hood's mother called to her. C. Little Red Riding Hood promised she would obey what her mother had told her and set off on her journey. D. While Little Red Riding Hood was walking in the forest, she met a wolf. E. He asked her what she was carrying in her basket. F. He walked a while by Little Red Riding Hood's side. G. Little Red Riding Hood opened her eyes and could see the sunlight was coming through the trees and how the ground was covered with beautiful flowers. End of tape script 6.17.2 Okay, we want to hear the answer. Next, we go to number 4. Past perfect practice. Past perfect practice. Bắt đầu bằng cái sản phẩm. Ok? Then you can see form. Form subject plus head plus past simple. Past simple as you know here verb 3. Verb 3. Example 3. Example 3. Example 3. Explain the main event of the story. 
and the past continue to express longer action in rapid by a shorter action. We also use the past perfect. Okay. The past perfect is formed with had plus a participle example. When I arrive at the party, all of my friends had gone home. Okay. And one more, another example. When she arrived at school this morning, she discovered she had forgotten her homework at home. Okay. Everyone, past perfect samoka, past perfect, cứ chỉ bắt bằng ca sầm bố là dương anh phá hay mình phong vi là luyện nấm. Cứ mình sắp chiếc bốc thì mình hát bốc thì mình bốc xí, đại dương anh nhẹ chán chỉ past perfect. Hãy dương phá vi chỉ mùi nấm. Past simple. Okay. All right. Now we go to practice exercise number 5. Look at the picture and complete the sentence with the past perfect of the verb in the press cap. Fine. Now you look at the picture and complete the sentence. We have picture A, B, C, D. And you can see picture A, B, C, D. Okay. Picture A. When I arrive at the internet office, they had blah, 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 already. So the verb here close. The verb here close. You take the verb close here to complete in here. So how 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 do we complete here? When I arrive at the internet office, they had Blah, blah, blah. Already. So the verb here must be verb 3. Had. Had plus a participle verb 3. So closed. Okay. B. When she turned on the TV, the program. Blah, 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 blah. And. When she turned on the TV, the program, blah, 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 and so, had plus a participle, and had, and, okay, C, look at example C together. The driver, blah, 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 at the red line when he answered his phone. The driver, blah, 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 at the red line when he answered his phone. So the verb in press cat is stop. Stop. So how can we complete here? The driver, what? Had stopped. So the driver had stopped. Excited. The farmer, la la la, all the eggs before the sun came up. The word here, collect. Again, the farmer, la la la. All the eggs before the sun came up. So the verb in the bracket is collect. So the same time, the farmer had collected. Had collected. Had plus participle. Had plus participle. Head plus kapati simple and head plus kapati simple. And we know kapati simple is verb 3. Okay? Verb tung tik bay. Not up here. Verb 3 minute time, verb tung tik bay. No, no, we mean verb tung tik mui, tung tik pin, and tung tik bay. Jump. Past 
perfect nhé pha chữ mũi nâng vớt tung tị bầy has perfect nhé pha chữ mũi nâng vớt tung tị bầy thì kể từ ok từ góc nhé nhưng mà mấy đứa ta làm với hai mình cái này nè mình vô chẳng mình sẽ xuất chơi nè từ góc nhé hai không vớt Tụi con mô hôn vợ nè Hôn vợ nâng section 1 Section 1 crossword puzzle Crossword puzzle Everyone, you are going to see across and down Across and down In across and down We have meaning The same hand that we gave you After you finish it, finish it each part and then you have to choose the word in the box to complete in across and down here now the check example for you before the example now read the word first food velvet hat manner a while wicked bouquet wick Promise. Okay, that is example number one. Down. You see that? Down number one. Normally wrong and bad for you, but in an attractive way. You see, down number one, you read the word in the box, the sentence in the box. Normally wrong and bad for you, but in an attractive way. So, can you guess what word is it? Can you guess what word is it? Start with letter W. Can you guess everyone? Okay. Weak. Wicked. Wicked. Fear. And you see? Down number one. Wicked. Okay. Everyone, do it as your own word. Do it as your homework and give me the answer in the chat box. Alright. So, our lesson today is going to finish. Before we finish, I, let, I want you to do homework. I want you to look at vocabulary again and Read the word in the box and do homework. And you can see the opening item for vocabulary. Ni nơi tầm four hạng trai đã được chờ phát nước từ tầm four pi rồi đọc bốn. Tầm four pi rồi đọc bốn. Sai nơi trong vocabulary ni vì mình bỏ phải mai. Chân dương bỏ phải mai thằng nông sư thơ sạch sẽ đại dương bao dương hay. Và gọi bao dương thua nơi trong crossword ni crossword. Chân crossword vì là cross hay đằng đầu. Tầm opening item. Anh lập bác là cái áo ấy, xanh thêm phải dùng là cái áo ấy hơi Tớp dưỡng Chưa ra lời phía, tha phía ná Trâm trâu cho mùi nâng xanh thêm mùi nà, mùi nâng Ok, được chứ nè Mẹ đêm ngày đi chọc hỏi xanh Unit 17, lesson 17A Cô chọc đáng, ok, bye bye